Hi, this is Randy. Randy's Paranormal Investigations. We're taking a walk back into the woods to an old family cemetery. Uh, this property is state land but the cemetery is a family cemetery uh, was owned by the people the land was owned by the people I believe before the uh, state took over you know, we're going to walk down through here looks like they've been down here pulling out trees or whatever it's all muddy and uh, cucky and wet of course so. So we're uh, almost there the name of the cemetery is Hazen Cemetery. I believe there's like maybe 14 graves at the location. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. No. If you look over that way, you can see the headstones. Might even maybe do a spirit box. Uh, yeah, here we are. Uh, Hazen Cemetery. Uh, like I said, I believe this to be well, it is a family. The property was owned by the family. There's a 16 year died at the age of 16. And Andrew, it's like he might have been 25. And, uh, Joseph Hazen. 18 November 20th 1860 it looks like these are all fairly old pretty old uh, you can see some smaller stones back there there's one buried under the leaves over there by the tree I'll Go over there a minute in a minute and brush the leaves off. Let's continue on this way. I uh, can't really make that name out. It looks like the top of the stone is broke off. It's also really hit the wrong button and set off the horn. So she's way up there. And this is 1854 Lewis Hazen. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. 9, 10, there's initials on some of these, and then there is the name of the cemetery, Hazen, there's a stone there, you can see that, I don't see nothing on it though, 
and then over here is another one right there again I don't see nothing on that one and here's one here and one laying just laying here and that I don't see nothing on E something E H something then then I don't see any more other than those ones uh, and the ones under the pine tree so uh, well, if you look you know, woods everywhere you can see that and then this way and then also across you can tell it's fall here the uh, leaves are falling pretty good usually on these stones there's multiple names but in this case it's uh, Elizabeth Hazen and that's it let's see there's some writing of the base but you can't I can't make it out so all right I'm gonna set up the tripod here and uh, we'll do a spirit box real quick kind of late getting late in the evening my wife probably went to lock the car and hit the uh, panic button scan the woods here a little bit I'm gonna try and set this where we might be able to the headstone, some of the headstones. Well, I guess I probably should lock this one in place before I try setting it down. Let's back up a little bit. I'm still trying to figure out this speaker, so bear with me. Yeah. Are there any spirits present? My name is Randy. I'm not here to hurt you, harm you, or disrespect you in any way. You're welcome to come and speak.
Andrew Hazen, Elizabeth Hazen, Joseph, Lewis, are any of you present? Eliza. How old are you? Could you say that again, please? That is Eliza, Eliza, Eliza. mother how many spirits are present device in my hand right here. It is a... Can you come up and touch that device and light up one of them lights? Or a couple of those lights? To let us know that you're present. See that device sitting right there? Can you make that light up? Can you make that device light up? Can you light them lights up on that device? All you have to do is just touch it. It won't hurt you. And if you need to, you can use the energy from these devices in my hand. family own this land? Did your family own this land at one time? I believe that is John Hazen, the top of the stone is missing which would have the uh, rest of the name on it. And this is... Uh, Eleanor? Something? Some of these older stones are so hard to read. I don't know what the top of it is. Wait for 
Hallo? Louis Hazen. I thought I found the uh, top piece of the one headstone that I think says John Hazen, but it's unreadable, so I don't know. Any spirits? I set the K2 meter over here by one of these smaller. Let's see if maybe we can get a reading. Let's see if maybe we can get the light to go off there. There we go. Can you make that light and lights blink on that little device? Just walk by it and touch it, that's all. Can you make them lights go off? If you want me to go, just tell me and I'll, I'll, um, I'll go. Can you say so long? Can you say so long? Say that again, please. All right. 
we are going to go walk back up to the car. Can you say so long? One more chance when you say so long. going to try to jiggle you all too much. If you look back there, you can see the woods, the headstones. Situated. One more view of the Hazen Family Cemetery. We are in Mercer County, just a few miles from what is known to be Lake Wilhelm. So, and we're going to walk up this way. So like I said, the woods is through there. You can see. It's all woods all around us. And it's a open field beyond the tree line there. We 
are going to walk up this way. You can see it's pretty much uphill from here. Ouch. And I got stuck by a stick. Yeah, share the woods over there on the way out. I don't know. I'd like to come out here after dark, but being that it's state game land, uh, I could probably get a fine for that. Pennsylvania's kind of strict with their stuff, so. But try to watch where I'm walking and there's a big old stone right there. You see that stone? Well actually it's a boulder I guess. It's a very big one too. Alright. I'm going to end the video because I got to walk clear up there. You can just barely see the top of my car. But yeah, I got to go clear up there. So, we're going to end the video here. Uh, go over there and look at that big old boulder right there. Uh, the only one I see is that great big boulder right there. Down there at that opening right there is going into the cemetery. So, all right. Continue up this way a little bit more. You can see where they've been in here digging up and cutting out trees and stuff. Why is beyond me. Oh. It's mud everywhere. <clears throat> All right. This is Randy's Paranormal Investigation. My name's Randy. And say now is Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.